Hey guys, Tara here, checking in. Today is weigh-in day, Friday. Um, it's March 10th, and it is my day 59 on keto. And I am so happy to report that I did release 1.9 pounds this morning. So I am down a total of 13.9 pounds, and it feels amazing. Um, I'm just really happy about the changes that I have made on keto. Um, number one, just listening to my hunger skill, really learning and listening to when I'm hungry, not just eating because it's noon, not just eating because it's 5 p.m. and I'm feeding the family, really truly making food for me when I'm hungry. And it's so funny because the hunger that I feel on keto is so different than I would feel when I would eat carbs. Um, when I when I wasn't doing keto and I would get hungry, I'd almost panic and it would I'd feel sick. And with this and doing keto, when I get hungry, it's a different type of feeling and I'm not so panicked. And I'm really truly learning to figure out when I'm hungry and eating when I'm hungry. For instance, yesterday, um, you know, I woke up and I had my coffee with coconut oil in it and I felt great and I got home from work around 1.30 and I thought, well, I feel hungry. So I made myself some of that keto sushi um, where I, I didn't put any cauliflower rice in it. I just had the, the seaweed paper that I put um, cream cheese on and then I put uh, cucumbers, avocado and shrimp and I rolled that up and then I dipped it in spicy mayo with just uh, mayo and sriracha. And that is what I had for lunch. I felt very full when I got done, very satisfied. And when it came time to eat dinner at five o'clock, I cooked spaghetti for my girls and I didn't, it wasn't even hard for me to cook it and be around it. And in the past, uh, when I was doing HCG, it was really tough for me to be around carbs. Um, and I would really want it and feel sorry for myself. And I'd have that big head battle, you know, and wanting to give up. But I ended up cooking and I was like, I'm not hungry. So I'm, I didn't cook myself anything for dinner and dinner came and went. And by the time I went to bed, I hadn't eaten. I hadn't even really thought about food. That is huge for me, guys. So I really only had my coffee yesterday. I had my sushi rolls. And then I ended up having coffee um, last night and that is all I ate yesterday so I definitely did some just intermittent fasting just naturally on my own um, and then I had that good release this morning so and I've woken up this morning really I haven't had any food since what 2 2 30 yesterday and I I'm not hungry so right now I'm having my keto coffee with just um, some coconut oil in it I did run out of my heavy whipping cream so I added that right there my almond milk so i went ahead and added that um i need to get myself some more heavy whipping cream but yeah that is what is going on feeling great you know making the changes that i've done on keto where i'm only doing 20 grams of carbs a day is really working for me and it's really not as hard as i thought it was it felt hard at the beginning but it's not um it's working for me and i'm going to continue to do that um so that is basically what i have going on um i I'm gonna go get ready, and I'm gonna head to the airport to pick my husband up. He's flying in from Vegas today. So I'm gonna go pick him up, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good Friday. All right, guys, so I am ready. I'm heading um, to Salt Lake to pick up my husband. It's about an hour and a half drive, so I just thought I'd get on and chat a little bit. Um, I still haven't ate anything. I finished my keto coffee. Um, I did bring some snacks. I brought these little beef sticks that has cheese in it, just in case I get hungry. Um, like I said, I'm gonna listen to my hunger scale and I still don't feel hungry and it's 10.30 in the morning. Um, it just feels so good not to feel hungry all the time. Um, other things that are going on today, my daughter, Maya, is dancing for the very last time with her drill team tonight. They are having their end of year review where they get go on and do all their dances. So she'll be doing her solo, her duet, her officer routine, and then all of their competition dances. 
and we basically kind of say goodbye to the year. I mean, we will have a, a dinner banquet that we go to, so there'll be one more thing, but this is like the last time. And I'm saying that and I'm getting so emotional right now. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my gosh. I've kind of been, you know, it's, it's been building up. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy it's over. It's been a long four years, but I'm just so proud of her and it's sad to see this chapter end in her life because I love watching her dance, so. All right, enough of this emotional shit. <laughs> so we are doing that tonight. I'm gonna head and pick up my husband. Yeah, I'm gonna do my egg fast. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. And I'll have to check the rules for sure, but I think I'll be eating like nine eggs in a day. I think every meal that I'm gonna eat is going to be three eggs each time. But then you have to add like butter or mayo or cream cheese or cheese to it because you have to have like a tablespoon of fat with each egg is what I believe it is. If I'm wrong and you guys know out there, let me know. Um, and then I believe you have to drink like a hundred ounces of water a day is what it is. And I know that some of the egg fasts say that you can drink like a few sodas, like diet sodas a day. I don't even really do that now. Once in a while, if I go out to eat, I'll do a diet Coke but I'm, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm just gonna stick to water and um, maybe coffee. Um, and I'll add like, you know, coconut oil or MCT oil to that, you know, basically to help add my fats. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing and uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. You know, I'm kind of having mixed feelings about it because I'm, I'm doing so well on keto right now. Like why? Why do I need to do an egg fast, you know? But I just see that everyone's doing it out there and I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, what my results are just to kind of change it up a bit. Um, I've also heard that after you do an egg fat or an egg fast, that you're supposed to slowly get back into keto. Um, you're not supposed to just jump right back on keto 100%. So I'm gonna have to look into that too. I'm, I'm not quite, sure what all these rules are so yeah so basically that's what I have going on I'm heading to Salt Lake to pick up my husband I'm excited to see him. I hate driving to Salt Lake this hour and a half drive I, I hate it um, especially all by myself it's boring so that's why I'm talking to you guys all right, I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will do my best to check in. I'm not sure that I'm gonna sit and show you everything that I'm eating today just because I want to record uh, my daughter's performances tonight and put that together um, on my channel just to kind of have it there forever for us to watch instead of keeping it on my phone. So, so I'll plan on doing that, but I hope you guys have a great Friday and um, yeah, I'm happy. I'll check in soon. Bye.